I'm Tom Lemons, and this is a special report. Just after 1 p.m. this afternoon, sheriff's deputies responded to a residence on Belkton Avenue after they received reports of a man with a gun. According to a sheriff's office spokesperson, 20-year-old Ishmael Paguero and a 17-year-old female companion arrived at the victim's home waving a gun and making threats. The suspects briefly left the scene with the promise of returning with additional people, which they did. Officials say five additional people arrived at the residence and began kicking the door while the victim was on the phone with 911. A total of seven suspects fled the scene, but were stopped a short distance away at the intersection of Mariner Boulevard and Harper Street. RNRF arrived just as deputies were attempting to detain the suspects, but most refused to cooperate, resulting in an extremely chaotic and dangerous situation. The following is a video from that incident, uninterrupted and uncensored. Caution, the video contains strong language. <laughs> I 
We spoke to Ishmael's mother, Kathy Paguera, who claims her son did nothing wrong and that racial profiling played a big part in her son's arrest. From two days, him stepping into Florida, he was already accused of selling cocaine. Cocaine. They saying at this point, being out here in Florida make him bitter. They saying he's angry. As a mother, to see a child being racial profiled this way and no evidence being held against him is unfair. Anyone of color cannot walk the street. We, they're not allowed to enjoy themselves. They're not allowed to have a good time sitting in the park. They can't do nothing. Chief Deputy Colonel Mike Morrow says, I was pleased with the incredible restraint our personnel showed, even when faced with a great provocation and an attempt to incite the deputies and those around us. Moore says it had nothing to do with race, and it's a sad commentary when people for no reason try to inject themselves into a violent incident and put themselves, police, defendants, and others in further risk of harm. In all, seven people, including three juveniles, face charges of burglary, resisting arrest, and obstruction of justice. No gun was ever found. Reporting from Spring Hill, I'm Tom Lemons.